So, in this video, I'll be showing you exactly how you can put your designs onto mock-ups. I'll also explain why they are an important, but often an overlooked part in selling the brand to a client. Now, this is key because if you're able to sell the brand you've designed for your client, this can prevent a whole bunch of revisions, saving you a lot of time and hassle. And time is our most important asset as business owners. So say goodbye to endless revisions and let's take a deep dive into mock-ups. Before we jump into this tutorial, I want to make a deal with you. If I show you how to put your branding onto mockups first, then you have to promise to stay around to hear how they can help sell your designs to the client and why you need to start including them within your brand presentations. Deal? So for the sake of this video, I'm going to be using an existing brand identity that I created on this channel called Sugar Coated. They are a vegan sweet business that don't compromise on quality or taste. We've already designed the brand identity, which includes the full logo suite, color palette and brand assets. Now it's time to create the mockups to show the brand in action and really give the client an insight into what their brand identity could look like on packaging. With that said, let's see exactly how you can get your designs onto mock-ups. So the first thing that I'm doing is sourcing the mock-up templates. Now I get all of my mock-ups from Inverter Elements who are sponsoring today's video. When it comes to mock-ups, they offer such a wide variety and also offer so much more that are useful to us designers. Things like fonts, brushes for Photoshop and for Procreate. It's kind of a no-brainer. It's really important to know that you need to be using different mock-ups for each project that you do. The mock-ups need to be relevant to the business. For example, for this vegan sweet brand, a good mock-up to use would be a sweet bag or a sweet pouch. Or if I was designing for a clothing brand, a great mock-up to use would be a label tag. It is so important to make the mock-up relevant to the business that you are designing for. That is the most crucial tip. So we've sourced our mockups and we've opened them in Photoshop. Now the first place to look is the layers panel, as this is where we're gonna be inserting our artwork or the design. Now each layer will differ slightly, but there should be something that says place artwork here, placeholder or edit contents. Once we've found this, we want to double click into the layer, which will then give us the correct artboard size. Just go to image and then press canvas size and then this will give us the correct dimensions, which we can then use to create our artwork. I'm going to head back into Illustrator where all of my brand identity assets are, and I'm going to be matching the Photoshop artboard size. I can then start creating my sweet pouch, which I'll include the primary logo, the brand assets, the brand colors to really give the client a great insight into how each brand asset complements each other within the brand identity. So I'm happy with the design that I've created in Adobe Illustrator. I'm going to press Command C and I'm copying this back into the Photoshop artboard. I'm going to press X at the top, which should come up with something that says save, save this, and it should now be added to the mock-up template and look 3D and just look incredible. So to take this one step further and to make it look really cohesive, we can try and change some colors within the mock-up template. Some mock-ups will allow you to do this and some won't. So just have a play around to see if it is available within that mock-up. So I'm going to change the background color to match the packaging. I'm going to change this to complement the product as well. So I'm going to change it to a really nice pink. And also I'm going to change the pouch at the bottom. It is currently black and I think this will look really nice with that pink color. So just tweaking those colors slightly has now made the packaging feel like it is placed perfectly there. Honestly, using mock-up templates always blows my mind because the artwork just looks so realistic on the product, which is great for the client. Now, something I also like to do is to duplicate and create this really nice repeated photography style with the mock-up. So what I'll do is I'll select the correct layers that I need of the product, and I will literally just duplicate this to create that really nice repeated look. Play around with the layout and you should have something that looks a little like this. So I'm now going to do this exact process with some more mock-ups from Envato Elements. I like to include around six to eight different mock-ups within the brand presentation so the client can really see their branding action. It also gives me as the designer clarity that the brand identity is going to work really nicely on the product and packaging. You can actually make your own mock-up templates if you want to make them super unique and distinct to you. But if you don't have time like me, then mock-up templates are a lifesaver. There's also a quick tip that I 
I've learned recently that I don't think a lot of people know about. So if you don't want to use mock-up templates and you just want to do something really quickly to see how something will look, then this is for you. So grab an empty mock-up from Google or even take your own. I'm going to be using a box as the reference. So we want to create a new layer and then go to the artwork that you want to add to this box. Press Command and A and then Command and C to copy the artwork. Go back to the original box and go to filter and press a vanishing point. Now we want to create the base of where the artwork will sit. So we want to select points on the box. Now to create a new side, all you've got to do is press command and then drag the box down. Press command and V once this is done to paste the artwork in, move this around until you're happy with how the artwork sits on the box. Then to make this look a little more realistic because it kind of just doesn't look like a mock-up right now, we want to go to the transparency panel and change this to multiply. So the box and the shadows will appear through the artwork we have put on there. And voila, we now have a really quick and simple mock-up of our artwork on a box. So there's a tutorial and how you can put your designs onto mock-ups. I've kept my side of the deal, now it's time to keep yours. So why are mock-ups important? Well, they visually show your client how the branding will look in a real life scenario. They provide context and evidence for your designs. For example, saving you time having to explain how a brand pattern will look on a physical product. By using mock-ups when presenting the brand to the client, it gives them that extrovert and confidence in the designs that you've created. Another reason why I like providing them is that it gives me a chance to sell them on the idea that they might need extras within their packaging, like social media templates, templates, stationery, and more. This is called upselling and it's one of the best ways to grow your business and its income. The last reason why you should be including mockups is because it can save your clients money. It does this by providing an example of how the packaging will look so they can visually see it before it goes to print. If this wasn't the case, the client may go ahead with the packaging, get it printed and not like the final product, ending up in a whole lot of money wasted. A good analogy for using mock-ups is when you go to rent or buy a property, real estate websites always have those virtual tours so you can have a look to see if it's something you'd be interested in before seeing it in real life. That is exactly what mock-ups do for clients. If they need packaging for their product or service, they get to see it in a real life scenario with mock-ups before spending money on getting anything printed. Thank you for listening to my TED talk and keeping to your side of the deal. Now, if you missed the video on me designing the brand identity tea for this vegan sweet brand and make sure to check out this video right here. Hopefully this video has given you an insight into why you should be using mock-ups within your brand presentation. If it has, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you at the next video.